everyone Liz here thanks for stopping by so today we have an unboxing from craft buddy now they've popped this in two boxes because it was such a large order so what i'm going to do is split it into two videos so that i don't bore you to death <laughs> okay so i've opened them the first one is oops sneak peek and the second one is oh if it look whoop Oh, look at that one. Okay, so I think we'll have a look at this one first. So bear with me and I'll get it all set up and we'll have a look and see what's in these boxes inside a box. Back in a sec. Okay, and I'm back. So there was actually three items in this parcel. So let me have a look at the first one that we can see and then we'll have a look at the others. Okay, so this is our Craft Buddy uh, brush set and it's a set of six brushes as you can see all different tips let's get these out of the packet i've actually got these so that i can use them um for sealing my uh, crystal arts and my canvases and also they've got a very fine tip one as well which i thought will be great um, i've got a couple of canvases where i've lent on them um, and unfortunately I've taken the glue off a couple of corners so I thought particularly that one and that one which are the very very fine tips there will just dip into my glue pot and I'll be able to just put a dab of glue where I want the beads to go and then I can just add the beads on so just bear with me. Okay, so we've got our set of six here, um, all in various sizes. This is the largest one and they're all logoed up. So a little bit of branding on there, Craft Buddy, which is good. And purple, which I like purple. I like hot pink best, but I do like purple. Um, this one is quite a fanned out brush, so that'd be quite nice for doing your cards and you can just gently um, put your sealer onto your cards. I will do some uh, sealing. I have got some to do. So I've been waiting for these new brushes to come so I could try them out. So I will be using these uh, in a later video. So that's that one. This one looks like, ooh, it's about, what, a centimetre? Maybe not quite a centimetre. Um, not far off though. They're all a good bristle actually and they're nicely rounded off at the edges so you're not going to hopefully get the hairs coming out. As I say, I am going to use them and we'll have a look. Nice weight as well to hold and all finished off with your metal caps on there so just makes them look quality. They look good. Um, I'm not an expert on brushes I have to say but I do like the feel of these and they do look like a, a good set. Uh, that's a little bit smaller maybe half a centimetre, it's about the half, not quite half size, but a little bit more than half size on that one. Okay, and then the three smaller ones are great, and this is one of the reasons why I got the set, um, not just for using larger areas to put um, sealer on, but for smaller areas. I thought this one will be ideal, because this is about the size of a small diamond so I can just dip into my uh, sealer pot and get one little blob and put it on the little part where I want the diamond to go or the drill or the crystal whatever you call them um, and then just place it on there so yeah and then the other two are just that slightly bigger but yeah really good brushes see so, yeah do we have any instructions telling us how to look after these um right okay it says Clean the brush with odorless brush cleaner, then wash it with soap and water, okay. Acrylics, clean the brush with soap and water, don't allow any paint to dry on the brush, and watercolour, clean the brush with warm water. So that's a good touch, that tells you um, how to clean it for your acrylic paints, your oil paints and your water paints, so that's good, that gives you some Good little instructions there. Okay, quite impressed with that. So a nice little set. So yeah, thanks Craft Buddy, like those. I have actually purchased all these items myself. Um, I do get a commission if you use my uh, discount code LIZ15, Liz15. 
um, for purchasing but I do still buy a lot of craft buddy stuff myself you will have seen in previous videos um, before I got my discount that I do like craft buddy and I do use a lot of their stuff okay so I'll pop those out the way now we'll do the next smallest package which is this little box and this one is one of craft buddy's own branded little storage cases now these are great um, either for storing your diamonds in or for fitting up, as we call it. So, nice quality little case with your little handle. So, great for um, carrying around if you want to take it to a retreat or take it in, even in the car or somewhere where you're going. <laughs> Wherever you're allowed to diamond paint. We are just coming out of lockdown a little bit at the minute, so places might open up a bit. Okay, so it's like a little suitcase. Um, we get your stickers there that you can put onto your little tubs and these are all great little storage containers to put your drills in. Now what I like to do is work from a container when I'm actually doing a diamond painting. So I'll have all my colours that I'm working with in my container and then as I use them I take my container out, pop the drills into my tray and then I will uh, continue diamond painting on that colour and then move on to the next one. And if you find you've missed a number, then it's great to just dip your diamond painting pen into the pot and just take out the one that you've missed rather than having to mess about with lots of little bags. Uh, the container does come with a nice little zip compartment. So you could put your stickers in there, you could put your little, little drill pen there, you can put your tray in there. All your little bits can fit in there. This is the little uh, extras kit that you can get from Craft Buddy. So all of those will fit in there and you can still close your lid. It has a double zip which makes it extra quality. So you can either zip it at the top or zip it around the sides, whichever way you want to go. But I think this is super. And I do like branded stuff and I like the fact that it's purple. So it matches the little brushes that I've just used as well. We definitely have a theme going here. Craft buddy, you need a purple tray. Come on, we've got an orange tray here. We need a purple one to match all our goodies. <laughs> okay, um, let me just see, have I got any diamonds? Let me see if I can find some diamonds or crystals that we can pour into here. Okay, so what I've done is gone and got a stash of uh, black drills, which are 310. Uh, it's probably the first number that you'll learn if you do start working by DMC codes, the embroidery or uh, cross stitch codes. 310 is your black um, and you'll tend to find that most kits, not all, but most kits do have a 310 in. Now these are all in little packets of 200 drills. So if we take one of the little tubs, I'll stand it in a tray because you know me, I'm good at spilling and we'll see how many we can actually get in this little tub. So let's start off with two packets. So that will be 400 drills. Um, I've not counted these, it's not gonna be exact, but they do say there's 200 in a packet. So I'll just work on, there's approximately 200 in a packet. Oops, oh look, and I've not cut that edge properly. So let's just get that one cut a little bit more. Trying to be clever and cutting two at once and not working. <laughs> okay, so that's two. That's 400. Oops, minus the one that dropped in the tray there. Okay, let's try another 200. It's not filling up very much, look. Okay, so they do hold a good amount, these. So if you are working on a larger canvas um, that has more drills, have bigger bags of drills, and you don't like working from the packets, or you need a larger container, then you can use these little tubs and I think they're brilliant. I think it's one of the quickest and easiest ways of working. So that's 400, sorry, that's 800. I don't even know my two times table now. Oh, Liz, get back to school. <laughs> okay, let's try another two. So that will make 1,200 drills. Okay, all right. That's six packets. Oh, look, this one that's just, oh no, it's just got stuck in the package in there. Okay, let's put that one in. So I think maybe I'll just put one more packet in, which will make 1,400 drills in one little pot. 
Um, you could possibly get another two in, but I don't like to have them too full because I am good at knocking things and spilling things. So I tend to find that uh, I leave them not quite as full as uh, they need to be or they will take. So yeah, so that's 1400 drills in one of those. So you wouldn't expect to get that amount in there, but that's brilliant. Okay, so I'll just pop that one in there, get rid of my little packets. Little packets there, okay. And if you wanted to keep spare drills in uh, your little net pouch at the top, you can do, they'll go away in there as well. But yeah, pop the tray back in there. So yeah, so this is a 30 storage case, so you can get 30 different colours. Um, it's, they are bigger then than the little um, box that came with the little starter set. When I kitted up my Easter wreath, uh, you may have seen me using this one. Uh, but these, there were a lot of colours. There was 29 colours. Um, but obviously there weren't as many because they were spread out more. There was a lot of different colours to give it that pop. So it's more for ones that you're doing quite a bit of one colour. Um, or... Again, you, you, I could have put this one into it, but uh, I like to use those for smaller lots of drills and these for larger lots of drills. It does come out, so if you don't want to have your little case, you can just take it out and use it. But obviously be careful you don't tip it because they will drop out, particularly when they get heavy with drills. They're not fastened in there, they're not glued in there or anything. They are just sat in there to get in and out easy. Okay, so... That's your little foam there with your 30 little pots. And again, we can just zip it up and you can take it away wherever you want to go. Or oh, nice for storing on a shelf as well. You could just put a little easy peel off label here, just saying which one it is so that you can just pull that off your shelf and say, right, I'm going to do this one next. And that's the drills that go with it. Okay, so I do like that one. That just feels real luxurious, really nice quality. And uh, purple, purple, we do like purple. I like the hot pink best, but I do like purple as well. Okay, so let's have a look at the next one. Now this one is Big Brother. This is one that holds 60 bottles. So if you're doing a painting with a large amount of drills that you maybe need more than one bottle for, or one that has more than 30 colours, then you can use the 60 bottle. Okay. And again, we do have our nice DIY Crystal Art Kit logo on the top. Okay, lovely sturdy case, nicely branded as I say. You've got a, a great handle here, this one expands out so it makes it comfier for carrying and you've got your finger grip there as well so nice and comfy, a nice ridge there so it keeps it nice and strong and then it just pops back in, pops out. I could play with that all day. <laughs> and again, you've got your double zip, so you've got your extra strength. Okay, so you can zip around whichever way you want, whichever way is easiest to get in. I tend to like to have them in the middle, to be fair. I don't know why, it's just the way I am. I think I just like the way they open and just uh, put them to the edge there. And then as you can see, it's the same as the 30, but double in size. So you've got one that goes you've got 60 stickers to go on your 60 pots so this is double the size of the one that we've just used but the pots are the same size so you will get your 1400 or your 1600 drills in if you want to squash a few more in there okay so yeah same pots back over there again a nice big storage compartment at the top there so you can uh, Put all your pens and your drill trays and any spare beads if you're working on the card kit probably get your card in there i'll have to try that and let you see um so yeah if you're working on a, a picture a canvas that has more than 30 colors or more than the 28 colors from the smaller one then you've got plenty of space or if say you're working on one that has a huge amount of one colour that won't fit in one pot then you can put them in two pots put them one next to the other so that you've got them all nicely um, put away there and all stored so I have seen that some people are storing the drills in them um, 
but if you are going to use DMC numbers, there are 447 different colours on the DMC chart. So you would need an awful lot of cases. So there are other storage uh, solutions out there. Okay. But yeah, I think that's super. Nice little matching set there. Really smart. Make you look real professional if you go to uh, any classes or any retreats. Or if you're doing... Um, some youtube videos chatting along and uh, diamond painting along with your friends on zoom or whatever so yeah that's your two little kits okay sorry i'm uh, knocking the table there you've got your two cases your larger one and your smaller one i'll definitely be getting some more of these because i do like to kit up um and then i do like to have things ready to go the next time if i kit up i tend to do a few at once there's all your paint brushes as well so that's today's little uh, unboxing for you i hope you've enjoyed it if you have please press the like button and if you want to see more then if you subscribe you'll like uh, get notified when the next video goes up okay thanks for watching see you all again soon bye